Aloha mai kako. Sorry for that little uh, hiccup. The audio was on my side, so that, that was me. That was not Luke. He's very professional. I don't know what I was doing, but... <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Aloha ho mai. Welcome back to Halau na Pua Hala Kuno Ikekai. My name is Kumu Kanoi, and this is my son, Eames Kalaniakea Williams. He is our kokua on our Saturday classes. And of course, behind the camera there is my husband, Luke. It's a family affair, and you're part of it. Thank you for being a part of our hula ohana and joining us from all over the world. Um, can you believe it? Today is, is today the last day of July? Today is July 31st. So this is the end of another month. We've been going at this Facebook hula thing for 16 months now. So thanks to so many of you who have been with us week after week, month after month. Uh, every month we have been working on usually one or more hula songs and every week uh, doing a new verse and then finishing up by the end of the month. So since today's the end of the month, we're going to finish up our song, Hene Hene Ko Aka. But before that, we always start with our chants and prayers and all of that to kind of get us going uh, because we're still kind of sleepy this morning, right? So uh, without any further ado, I think we better get going because it's time. Aloha ho my welcome back. We're trying to give you a high five through the camera there. <laughs> We're going to begin our classes the same way that we always do on Saturdays. We will start with our anthem. Of course, this was our national anthem. I believe today is La Ho'i Ho'i Ea. So we have to sing with pride today our national anthem, um, which is now in some people's eyes, uh, our state anthem. But this is Hawaii Pono'i, which was written by two gentlemen. One of them is the Royal Hawaiian Bandmaster, Henry Berger, with the epic beard, like this. Um, and another epic bearded man, uh, King David Kalakaua, up top there, of course, wrote the lyrics to Hawaii Pono'i. So let us sing together. Make sure you're standing tall if you're able. And uh, we're going to do Hawaii Pono'i. Pa. Hawaii po no i na na i ko mo i kala ni ali i ke ali i ma ku ala ni e ka me ha me ha. Na kawa e pale me ka i he Hawaii i po no i na na i na li i na pu a mu li ko na po ki i ma ku. Oh. 
mahalo for that. It's my favorite when I get to chant and sing with my ohana and all of you. Next up, we're going to be wishing all of you a uh, aloha. And aloha, of course, means hello, goodbye, I love you, and all of these things. But there is a chant written by Kumu Pilahipaki, which spells out exactly what it means to have aloha. So before we do this chant, we want to know who we are addressing our aloha to today. So if you haven't already, go ahead and type into the comments below a little aloha to your hula ohana, and of course, where you are tuning in from. And let's see who, I'm going to grab my Kamepula, my computer. I'm going to grab my computer and see who has checked in today. I saw bright and early Coco Coco from Mexico. Aloha, my Kako. Also, Nora Ramos joining us from Mexico. The Mexico gang is here. We also have Doggy Hagi. Aloha. Aloha, a doggy. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Yvonne McGreevy joining us from Florida. I hope that you are doing well, Yvonne. Aloha, my. Aloha e Kian how oli laha now yesterday actually was Kian's birthday so how oli laha now congratulations on the big 8 for you Rebecca from Rotterdam Holland it's nice to see you aloha Barbara from Kailua Kona mahalo she said she loves my shirt my shirt is from Mahina Made, and they're going to be doing a release soon we can still see you over there man okay um <laughs> We're gonna, they're going to do a new release of new colors coming up soon. So you should check out Mahina Made for all your late needs. Menchaka Gonzalez, aloha. You are beautiful as well. Just for being here, mahalo. Mallory and Harper Grace joining us from Wahiawa, aloha mai. And we have Hepua Lahaole, Lara from Brawley, California. And Renee Suda joining us. Oh, actually, it's Haukea, the daughter. Uh, Haukea from Las Vegas. Whew. I hope it's not too hot out there for you folks. Aloha mai kako. Thank you for being a part of our hula ohana. We are going to wish you aloha through our aloha chant. I can't talk right now. Oh my gosh. Need more coffee. Oli aloha by kumu pilahi paki. Where is my son? There he is. Okay. We are ready to begin. Make sure that you look from one side to the other on this chant. We are going to do oli aloha pa. Akahai na Hawaii, loka hia kulike, olu olu kamana o, ha a a kokula na, a honu yala na kila, aloha. Mahalo for that. Thank you for sharing your aloha with one another. I always love seeing in the comments, sometimes you folks are having a little chat with one another in there. And that's one of my favorite things because that's what we miss about having in-person hula, of course. At this time, we're going to noho ilalo. We'll have a seat on the ground here. Um, my kumu is kumu le momi i maldonado. And she always had us noho for our prayers. So we're going to sit at this time and we'll do our Hawaiian doxology which was translated from English by Hiram Bingham, who was one of the missionaries here in Hawaii. Um, he went by the Hawaiian name Bainamu. Doesn't sound too Hawaiian to me, but that's how they made Bingham into Bainamu. <laughs> so we'll do our Hawaiian doxology in honor of Bingham and also our friend Kumu Haunani Bernardino, who unfortunately has passed away but wrote a second verse. Today, since it is the final week of July, we're going to challenge ourselves to sing a little bit of harmony. So if you can harmonize, go ahead and try something out. If you want to just stick to melody, that's all you got right now. I think Eames is going to help you out with that. Eames will sing the melody, and I'm going to sing a little bit of a harmony here and there where it fits. Okay? So let's bring our voices around the world together in Pule, our prayer, Ho'onani Pa. Ho'onani Kamakua Ma.
nice job. He's like, what? Why are you shaking my hands? <laughs> That's not easy. So if you were able to hold on to the melody or create some version of harmony, Somewhere. whatever those notes were, they were the right ones for today. So mahalo for that. Ho'o nani. Our next prayer is done in the kahoa hoa style. Ho'a means friend. Yeah, right on cue. He's my friend when I say ho'a. Boom. <laughs> so the kahoa style is a call and a response. I will be the male alaka'i, Ames will be the male ho'opili. You can choose to be the call or response. Join us. E kia kua, pa. E kia kua, mahalo no, mahalo no, mahalo ya oi. No kea la, no kea la. Amen, 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 amen. Mahalo for that. Ekiakua, of course, says, Dear Lord, thank you for this day, and it is another beautiful one here. Uh, in Olalo Hawaii or Hawaiian language, you say, Pehea kianila. Pehea kianila means, How's the weather? How's the weather today? So, Pehea kianila e ims kolonia kia. Ai, he la o malu malu ke ia. Looking out our puka niani right here in front of us, it is a little bit of a cloudy day. Maybe even he la makani ke ia because there's some wind blowing through our trees, but it's keeping us nice and cool, and we are not complaining one bit because check out that view. It's Gorgeous, right? So, Peheo Kianila, how's the weather where you are? You would answer by choosing either La for day or Po for night. He La blank Kia means it's this type of day. You're going to choose the weather. And He Po blank Kia means it's this type of night. So, hopefully, He La Maika E Kia Malela. We hope it's a great day, a good day for you. But let us know in the comments down below. Peheo Kianila wherever you are, a puni kahonua around the world, okay? So now we're going to continue with our theme of la or day. La also means sun. So we're going to do the chant, e e, which helps us to rise up the sun. And for this, we're going to do a little pattern with our hands. We're going to upoho, which is cup our hands, and pa'i, which is going to be slap. Okay, so we're going to do upoho, upoho, pa'i. Here we go. Upoho, upoho, pa'i. Upoho, upoho, e ala e. Here we go. E ala e, kala i kahikina, i kamoana, kamoana ho ho nu. Pi i kaleva, kaleva nu u. I kahikina, aya kala. E ala e. Very good. Let's stop right there. Now, if you have someone else watching the show with you, you could turn toward them and you could do this the same way. Upoho, upoho, pa'i. Make sure it's their hands, not their face or any other part of their body. But you're going to cup your hands. Come this way so you're in the camera, my friend. Okay. Upoho, upoho. And then pa'i is going to be a flat slap. Okay. So let's try. If you don't have a friend, we can be your friend. <laughs> you can just upoho, upoho, pa'i by yourself. Okay. Don't worry. You're not friendless. Ready? Go. Upoho, upoho, pa'i. What? You want to you wanna clap for pa'i? Okay. Ready? Upoho, upoho, pa'i. Upoho, e ala e. Ready? Go. E ala e. Kala i kahikina. I kamoana. Kamoana ho ho nu. Pi i kaleva. Kaleva nu u. I kahikina. Aya kala. E ala e. Very good. And we'll do one last time facing back towards you. This time we're going to do some descriptive hand motions. These are not really hula because it's kind of more like a, a nursery rhyme hand motions, okay? So it starts with our hands here. Ready? E ala e, ready, go. E ala e, kala i kahikina, i kamoana, kamoana ho ho nu, pi i kaleva. Kaleva nu u i kahikina ayakala e ala e. That's it. E ala e means to wake up, whether you're selling the sun or your son 
or your mom, Eolae, it's time to go. Okay, at this time, let us grab our ipu. If you have ipu heke, ipu heke ole, whatever it might be. We're going to just jump into our beats today. So grab your ipu. We have lots to do. Ipu, ipu, pu, pu, pu. Not ipu, pu. Ipu. Okay, so come this side. For our ipu, there are four main beats that we sort of focus on in this class. And the first one is sort of an ornamental beat, ka eke loloi. You see it right here past Im's head, right there, ka eke loloi. So you're going to rattle your fingers like that. That is our ka eke loloi. I'm going to switch hands. Is that what you're telling me with your eyes? I'm doing it backwards. Okay. <laughs> then the pa is going to be an u, which is on the pale and a te on the side. Let's do that pattern four times. U, te, u, te, ready, and here we go. A one, a two, a three, and four. Very good. The next one down is called kahela, and the kahela is u, te, te. Ready, set, four times, go. U, te, te, u, te, te, u, te, te, u, te, te. Very good. The last beat is called the cuckoo. U, u. Utete, ready, and here we go. Here's one. Here's two. And three. Last one. Ooh, ooh, utete. Very good. Now, I know I have some of our more advanced keiki and adults watching us today, so we're going to do a little bit of patterns. We'll start simple, and then it's going to get real, real hard. So turn on your thinking caps. We're going to start with something very easy. We're going to do pa, kahela, pa, Kahela, okay? So single and then double, single and then double. You got this. One, two, ready, go. A pa, kahela, pa, kahela. Simple, right? Next one, a little bit more tricky. Kahela, 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 and a pa. Not too hard. Ready? And here we go. Kahela, 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 and a pa. Good. Now we're going to do what I call some sandwiches. So the things on the outside are the same, like bread and bread, and the things on the inside are the same, like meat and meat. I don't know. Cheese. Don't you always put meat and meat in your no. <laughs> sandwich? <laughs> okay, so we're going to do pa, kahela, kahela, pa. See how that makes a sandwich? Pa is the bread, kahela is the filling. Okay, pa, kahela, kahela, pa. Ready? And here we go. Pa. Kahela, kahela, and a pa. Do you know the Hawaiian word for sandwich? It's kind of fun. Kanawika. <laughs> I just thought you would like that. Okay, let's try our sandwich one more time. Pa, kahela, kahela, pa. Ready? And here we go. Pa, kahela, kahela, and a pa. Kanawika. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to put together some of these things, okay? So we're going to do pa kahela, pa kahela. That's the first one that we did, okay? And then we're going to do kahela, 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 pa. Okay, so let's try that. Ready? And here we go. Pa kahela, pa kahela, pa kahela, kahela, and a pa. Okay? You're totally right. I messed that up. Pa kahela, pa kahela, 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 pa. Thank you. He should just be in charge from now on. Okay. Ready? Thank you for correcting me. Ready? And here we go. Pa kahela, pa kahela, 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 and a pa. Okay. The reason I did that, not that I'm making excuses, is because I was going to add that on next. So we're gonna do the same thing. Pa kahela pa kahela 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 pa. <laughs> then sandwich. Pa kahela kahela pa. Okay, ready? One, two, here we go. Pa kahela and a pa kahela and kahela and kahela and kahela and a pa sandwich. Pa kahela kahela and a pa. Now we're gonna flip our kanawika inside out. It's gonna be kahela pa pa kahela. But we're gonna add it to everything that we just did. Yes, okay. <laughs> that was a great face. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Shall I review it? Yes. Pa kahela, pa kahela, 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 pa. Pa kahela, kahela, pa kahela, pa, pa kahela. Okay, don't leave. If that seems like too much, stay with us. This will be over before you know it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Go, go. Ready? And here we go. A pa, 
Kahela, our pa. Kahela and Kahela and Kahela and Kahela and our pa. Pa. Kahela, Kahela and our pa. Kahela and pa. And pa. Kahela. Nice job. <laughs> yeah. Okay, put your ipu away. We're actually not going to do basic steps this morning. Sorry about it. I know you're heartbroken. No, you're not. Okay, we're going to cool Iluna. Stand on up if I can. Oh, creak, creak. Okay. Yes. So at this time, you get to take a rest. Since it is the end of July, we are actually going to do a full review of Hene Hene Ko Aka Ar Mele for this week. I'm standing really close to the camera. Sheesh. Okay. So, <laughs> um, Hene Hene Ko Aka is the song that we have been doing and the music that you have been hearing. I should have introduced them earlier, but I want to introduce you to Coin Street. This is the group whose music you have been hearing. Now, uh, I have a special in with these folks because this guy right here, the smiley one with the guitar, is my dad, Melvin Kahiana Chang, Dr. Dr. Mel. Um, and he plays slack key guitar for this group. Um, it was so named Coin Street because they have been playing together for a long time and they usually practice at my Uncle Dean's house. So Uncle Dean is the one all the way down the other end, Dean Kanching. He lives on Coin Street and that is their favorite place to practice. So that's why they're called Coin Street. Now, the funny guy in the middle, that's Uncle Les. He plays ukulele, steel guitar, sometimes conch shell, bird calls, all the things. And he is sort of the uh, um, the color commentary also of, of the group. So that is Uncle Les. Um, I call them all uncles because they are definitely Ohana to me. Of course, my dad right here, Melvin Kahiana Chang, Les Lu in the middle, and Uncle Dean Kanching. I just want to mahalo them for allowing us to use their music. Um, the music that you're hearing is actually a practice recording that they did while they were here at our house, and I um, snuck a little recording of it on my iPad, and that's what we've been using to practice. So give a special shout out to them. They are on Facebook if you want to find them, Coin Street, book them for a wedding or whatever you are having in this crazy COVID time. They can come and provide some, some music for you. Did you have something that you wanted to come and say on the mic about um, your papa or what? Oh, Coin Street, C-O-Y-N-E, C-O-Y-N-E, not like coin, C-O-Y-N-E. Yes, thank you, Uncle Frank. Okay, Eames wanted to say something about his uncles, maybe. Yeah, yeah what is it? Um, he walked by earlier. Oh, yeah. Papa Mel, which is <laughs> the slack key <laughs> guitar player, he walked by earlier. So that was kind of like an Easter egg. You might have seen him in the <laughs> corner. <laughs> So we are in, actually, I should, I should also point that out. We are here in the home of Papa Mel, uh, Melvin Kahiana Chang, and his wife, my mom, Sandy. Um, we're so grateful for this space. So lots to be thankful for, um, but especially for their music this month. So mahalo, mahalo. Okay, so now on to the show. Just kidding. Um, uh, our song, Hene Hene Ko Aka, begins with this. Hene Hene Ko Aka Ko Le'a Le'a Paha. And it's actually a conversation between two lovers. One of them saying, oh, I just love your smile and your laugh. Actually, the first one, Ko Aka, is your laugh. Your laugh is so contagious and uplifting. Ko Le'a Le'a Paha. And when you're having fun, I'm having fun too. Then it says, He Mea Ma'ama this is our regular thing for you and I. I really love this song, and I'm going to maybe one day convince Luke to dance this with me because we're always laughing. For those of you that know Luke and I, we're known for just always cracking up, cracking jokes, cracking each other up. So, this is just our normal thing, having fun. So these two lovers are saying to each other, I love your laugh. I love your smile. This is our normal. We just have so much fun for you and I. Okay, so let's go over this verse real quickly. Your left hand is going to start on your waist. Your right hand is going to go from your laughter. Hene hene ko aka. Then to your cheeks, your smile. Ko le a le a 
paha. Then you're gonna turn towards the side. Right hand is gonna cross. Hey me ama ama ia. Then go forward for you and I. And then you're gonna kaholo. Was it one hand kaholo? I think so. Okay, Eames is like, I don't know, you're the cool mom. Okay, so for our kaholo, we're going to go side and front and side and front. Hene, hene is going to go through my mouth. Hene, hene, ko, a, ka, to your cheeks. Ko, le, a, le, a, pa, ha, turning to the side. He, me, a, ma, a, ma, o, i, a, and forward for you and I. And then you're going to holo to the side and holo to the side. So we're going to kaholo to the right. On hene hene, kahola to the left, ko aka. Then bring it to your cheeks, ko le a le a pa ha. Don't forget, you have to turn that left foot to get ready to all right. He me a ma a ma o i a. And then forward for you and I. So those feet there, we've gone over it in past weeks. If you would like to watch it slowly, um, the first week of july we spent a lot of time just breaking down that foot pattern but let's try just the pattern one more time facing to this side your right foot is going to go to the side and then turn you then the left foot side turn back to the front now your right foot is going forward and your left foot is going toward the back okay so let's try hey me i'm i'm already right hand right foot goes together ready and here we go hey me ama ama o i a forward for you and i holo to the right and hene hene from your mouth hene hene ko a ka love your laugh ko le a le a pa ha and you have so much fun hey me ama ama o i a forward for you and I, hollow, right and left. That's it, okay? So that's Hene Hene Kowaka verse one. Now, these two lovers, they probably could just be together and laugh and tell jokes and that was good enough, but they decided to go on a date. And this date that they went on was on some transportation. So uh, can we show the streetcar pictures? Yes. So they decided to go on the new technology transportation. It was not the, the rapid transit that we know today, which doesn't exist, but uh, the streetcar was a new innovation in Honolulu and there was a brand new line that was running from near where they were um, at Kamehameha schools running down along this way. And so we have a little map here. I actually updated the map because they started over here. They started over here. See where the K is. They were actually boarding at Kamehameha schools, which was around this area at the time. We usually know um, Kamehameha as all the way at the top of the mountain, yeah, Kapalama. However, at the time in the 1920s, the Kamehameha schools campus was actually down a little bit lower, still near that area, but not all the way at the top of the mountain, yeah. So they were at Kamehameha schools, and they decided to jump aboard that that streetcar, and it would take them along the coast here. And um, so they, they rode, check out those streetcars one more time. I think we have one more picture of the streetcars. Yeah, so that this was the mode of transportation that was for business people and pleasure alike. Um, and the second verse, Kawila Makeneki, talks about the mechanics of this streetcar. So your hands are gonna come alongside your body and you're gonna make those gear wheels turning, right? So the, the wheels of the, um, the streetcar turning along this way. So we're gonna get, with our right hand, we're gonna pump, 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 and then left, right, left. As we do that, we're going to step with our feet, a kaholo to the right and left. But there's going to be a little bit of a dip in the road and a up and a dip and a hill. Okay, so we're going to go into the right. Ready? And here we go. Kawilama keneki. Okay, try with me. I know you sat down during that whole talking business. Stand up. Ready? And here we go. Kawilama keneki. Then ho oni oni, it makes my body kind of wiggle. So you're going to look to the right. Ho oni oni switch. Koki no. Turn to the side. He me ama ama o i a. Forward. For you and I. Hollow. 
side and front. Kawila. Kawila ma kene ki ami. Ho oni oni ko kino. Turn to the side. Heme ama ama o iya for you and I. So that's verse one and two. You want to come dance with me? We're going to give it a try. Verse one and two with music. Remember, this is Coin Street. They happen to do each verse three times. So here we go. First verse and second verse. Yeah, six verses on one crack. Okay, sorry. Do you hear it yet? Okay, ready? One hand hollow. Hene, hene. Sorry, I stepped on something. This is live, folks. This was stabbing me in the foot. Can you see that? That. Okay, show must go on. Here it is. Some kind of shard of. Okay. Hanaho! Don't mind if there's like a tra trail of blood or something. Okay. Keep going. Hane, <laughs> hane. I love your smile. We have so much fun. Kaholo. Repeat that verse. I'm smiling even though I'm crying. <laughs> That's pretty normal. One more time. Hene hene. So that was verse one and two. Now we're going to review the next two verses. There's six verses, so we got to jam it. Verse three takes us to Kaka'ako. And in Kaka'ako, the famous thing to do was to go to their Auntie Mariah's house and have a big bowl of peepee -pee stew. Now, stew, I think you know what stew is. Stew is stew. Peepee -pee is the Hawaiianization of the word beef. So they took beef and they made it into beefy and then made it into pee pee, and then it became pee pee. So pee pee stew is just good old home cooked beef stew. Of course, if you were with us that week, we did a whole beef stew challenge. So we had beef stew from Highway Inn, we had beef stew from Asahi Grill, and we had the big winner, dun 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 dun, dun beef stew from Mama Chun, of which I still have her pot, and if she's watching, I promise I'm gonna give it back, like, tomorrow, maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, Mama Chun, I suck. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to Kaka'ako. Now, Kaka'ako, we're just going to place our hands down across our body. E Kaka'ako, Mako Weagle. Mako. Now, we're going to eat our beef stew with a little bit of poi. Ayana Ika Pipi Stew. And then we get the same Heme Ama Ama. Okay, let's try E Kaka'ako. Kaholo to the right. Go. E Kaka'ako, Mako. Clean the pot and then give it back. Gosh darn it. Heme Ama Ama. For you 
and I try one more time. All of my um, students that don't speak English well, they're probably thinking, what the heck is going on? Ikaka akomako, eat beef stew. Ayana ika pipi stew, turn to the side. Heme ama ama for you and I. So that is our third verse. Now this is not the last time on their streetcar journey that they're gonna have a meal, so don't worry about that. But their first course for the streetcar ride was beef stew in verse three, okay? Now as we go on to verse four, they decided that they're gonna get off on the next stop, which is Waikiki. And at Waikiki, I'm sure there were lots of yummy things to eat, but rather than eat, they decided, oh, let's go for a swim. So verse four says, let's go to Waikiki and awana ikekai. O means to swim. It can also mean to bathe. And at that time in the 1920s, actually, sea bathing was in fashion. Um, you know, when you look at like tourist things in Australia, there's these sea pools, and they would talk about bathing in the sea in these in these um, salt water pools. This was becoming popular around the world, and so bathing down at Waikiki um, or swimming uh, was very popular. In uh, this week, when we covered this verse, we decided to teach you folks about some of the place names of Waikiki. So the first one that we talked about was just off the shore where Halekulani stands. There's a little beach there and it was known to be a place where sick people could go and be healed. Um, they would wear a lei of limu kala and then after they bathe in the sea there with the healing powers they would take off their lei of limu kala and with it, they would take off their disease and leave healed. So this place is called the taking off. In Hawaiian, is Kavehevehe. So that is the place there, Kavehevehe, just off the shore at the Hale Kulani. The next place that we talked about that week, uh, a few weeks ago, was called Uluko, near where the um, Moana Hotel is located now. There used to be a grove of ko trees. So of course, Ulu meaning grove, ko referring to the type of tree. Uluko was there at the beach off of the Moana Surf Rider. The next one that we're going to talk about is Papa Nui, which was named, so named, by um, Duke Kahanamoku, who loved to surf on those long boards out there. And so Papa is bored, Nui is large or long. So the Papa Nui is a great spot for long borders just off the beach there, kind of near where the Duke Kahanamoku statue is, but out further, that is Papa Nui, not Rapa Nui, but Papa Nui. <laughs> Then down by the Kaimana Beach Hotel, used to be the new Otani Hotel, um, there was an area where there would be a lot of fish spawning. And uh, a fish spawn is called, or the, the, the youngest spawn of fish is called kapua because it's like a blossom just blooming. So kapua there, um, just kind of near the Natatorium and Kaimana Beach Hotel, that is the name of the place. And this past year, we actually saw spawns of fish, schools of spawning fish returning to this area since the tourists weren't there, but maybe no longer. <laughs> that was Kapua. And our final beach that we told you about in Waikiki was called Kalehua Vehe, which is just off uh, where the Elks Club is now. It was known for a place where um, uh, a surfer gave his lei of lehua, kalehua, he took it off, vehe, just like kavehe vehe, kalehua vehe, he took off his lehua lei and gave it to um, a female surfer that was giving him a run for his money. So that's kalehua vehe. Those are all names of places in Waikiki where you could go, awana ike kai. Okay, so. Here we go. E Waikiki, after you finish your vamp and your vamp, you're going to do the waves of Waikiki. E Waikiki, and then you're going to bring it in. Mako, then we're going to hella. You're going to um, point your foot and your hands are going to wave at your shoulder. Oh, and then you're going to take a dip. Kai, and then we get this part. He me ama ama for you and I. Okay, let's try that verse again. Stand up and dance with me. E Waikiki Mako, let's go Waikiki. E Waikiki Mako. 
Turn. He me ama ama ia for you and I. Okay, are you ready to practice verse three and four with me? Ims kalania akia, kalania kia. Okay, we're gonna go to Kakaako first, and then we're gonna go to Waikiki. Don't forget the hella on Waikiki. That can be a little tricky. Hello. Here's verse three. Kakaako, simple hands. Eat beef stew. Okay, once more, let's sing. E kaka ako. E kaka ako bako. Ayana e ka pipi stu. E me ama ama iya. For you and I. Okay, let's go waikiki. Wave side side. E waikiki mako. Hella. Awana e ke kai. Oh, yeah, splish splash. I forgot. E me ama ama iya. Where you should be the teacher. E Waikiki. E Waikiki Mako. Splash. Splash. Okay, let's sing. E Waikiki. E Waikiki Mako. That's his cue, okay? <laughs> so that was verse number four. We only have two verses left. One you already know and one you actually already know, but you don't know that yet. Verse number five says, let's go to Kapahulu. Now, Kapahulu in modern times, we know it as the street that goes all the way from Waikiki up toward the mountainside and at the time, in 1920s, that area, that whole area was indeed called Kapahulu. However, since we are talking about eating seaweed, my inclination is that they didn't go up the road to Haile's to get some seaweed or to Ono's seafood. Um, I think that they were able to just pick this Lipoa seaweed down at the beach side. So Kapahulu was actually the name of this stream that came all the way down to the ocean and fed right there into the ocean. And the rich combination of, of brackish water was perfect for the growing of seaweed. So um, Waikiki was really, really well known for especially this type of seaweed, which is the lipoa. The lipoa could be found on all the beaches, not so often found in Waikiki these days. However, you can find it all around the island, and not only here on Oahu, on many different islands, um, you can still find the lipoa seaweed. It was um, grown de deep beneath the ocean on the ocean beds, but it was said to have such a strong aroma that when it was flourishing on the beds of the ocean floor, you could smell it above water and maybe for a mile, up to a mile away from the beach. So you would know, oh, it's lipoa season, better go down and pick. So this is the lipoa. Um, last week, we also talked about two other types of seaweed. Pardon me. This one is that limu kala, which we talked about wearing a lei of limu kala and then leaving it at the beach to be forgiven or um, removed of, not sin so much, but of um, disease. So the limu kala is this one right here. And then the last limu that we talked about is the one that Japanese call ogo. Um, the Hawaiian version of this limu is manawele, and it is the one that you'll find in your poke. Hawaiian style poke, maybe a little bit of limu, rock salt, and of course a little bit of inamona, the kukui relish. Mm. 
might have to go have some of that today. So these these are the types of limu that you could find there at Waikiki. Of course, in this um, mele, we only talk about the lipo, but if you know like Kaulu Vehioke Kai, they talk about mixing all of these different types of limu together in an ocean salad or something like that. So for this one, your hands are going to go from the center down, about pico level, and you're going to open your hands. Remember, kapohulu is talking about the, the soil that has been um, sapped of nutrients, perhaps. And then you're going to bring your hands out into your chest. Okay, so now instead of putting the, the limu right into our mouth, we're going to gather it and put it into our basket, and then gather it and put it into our basket. Then we go into hemeama'amau. Is, is it getting tiresome now? Keep doing the same refrain over and over, but makes this song a little bit easier to remember, right? Okay, let's go to Kapahulu, Kaholo to the right, and I Kapahulu Mako, pick seaweed. Ayana I Kalipoa, Heme Ama Amo Ia, for you and I. That one is simple, right? Especially because the ending keeps repeating. Eames, let's let's do um kapohulu and then I will teach you haina, okay? Let's go to kapohulu. We're gonna open our hands this way. Start with the bath. E kapohulu. Open. E Pixie weed. Nice job. Let's try second time on that verse. Open Kapahulu. Pick seaweed. Do I have seaweed growing on me? <laughs> Once more, let's sing E Kapahulu. Okay, so come on up. Our last, our final verse, as it is in most Hawaiian songs, is ha'ina mai kapuana. Now, the word ha'i means to tell. Yeah? So ha'i is to tell, and ha'ina is the retelling or, or the telling, right? So ha'ina mai kapuana ko le'a le'a paha. It talks about your happiness or you're having so much fun again. So we're gonna do actually what you have done before. Ha'ina mai kapuana is gonna be very simply, left hand is on your waist, right hand is gonna go from your mouth. Ha'ina mai kapuana, left hand out. Then we already know this part. paha. And then guess what? You know this whole thing is so easy, right? You were worried that this last week was going to be, oh my gosh, six verses, I'm never going to get it. It's so simple. So simple. Okay, the, the other thing, the other reward, if you make it this far in the Coin Street version, is that they only do it two times. <laughs> so ha'ina, you only get two chances, but you've done most of the verse um, in the earlier part. So ha'ina mai kapuana is going to be kaholo to the right. Ready, and here we, oh, re come, you want to come on this side. Okay, sorry. And here we go. Ha'ina mai kapuana, chicks. Ko ole ole apaha. He me for you and I. Now, funny story about this song is that my dad and his group, they actually entered a contest with this song and they came to me to consult on some Hawaiian language pronunciation and they also wanted to know how do you say for you and I in Hawaiian. So I told them no oi, it means for you, mea'u means with me. So for you, with me. Not and me so much, but no oi me So at the end of their version of this song, they repeat that phrase three times. So you're gonna still do it. Uh, he me ama ama forward. No oi me 
Then we're going to point to the right to the person that you love. Hopefully they're sitting over there, not over there. We're going to go this. No, oi, me, oh, ooh. Okay? And then you're going to do the same one. No, oi, me, oh, ooh. So they repeat it three times. The first one is going to be the forward and back. The second one is going to be point to the person, bring it in. It's just kaholo right and left. And then the third one is going to be forward and back. Then you're going to end with da 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 da. Step back. Bum ba da dum. Brum. Yes, hit that octave over there. Okay, so let's try the no oi me ya us. Let's go from he me ama ama. We're going to turn to the other side. Ready and here we go. He me ama ama ya. No oi me ya u point. No oi me ya u. No oi me ya u. Holo to the right, step back. Bum ba da dum, brum. Okay, so we're gonna try the whole ending portion, which is ha'ina mai kapuana. Yeah. Kole ale apaha. Can't really reach that octave. Okay, ready? This is the first time. Right, so that was the Ha'ina verse. Now, I know we're all getting a workout. I'm sweating over here. I don't know about you guys. Yes, thank you for <laughs> pointing it out. But uh, this is a, a long one, especially because we're doing every single verse three times. But it's a good repetition. Now, when you find a version that you would like to perform this with, they may not do all of these three times. So you just have to listen to the words that they have on their recording. Or if you're with live musicians, you can ask them how many times they'll do each verse. But we're going to try with the Coin Street version. And it's going to take us three times of each verse, six verses. That's 18 verses. Count this as your exercise for the day. What, oh, except for the last verse. That's absolutely right. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a little intro. It's actually an additional time of a verse. I'm just going to call some basic steps for that part, and then we'll go into it. Okay, so, oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to do some basic steps. Are you good with that? Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to. Please don't arrest me. It was an accident. Okay, here we go. From the beginning. Come next to me. Let's start with four ka'o. Ami right. Ami left. Ka'o low. Okay, let's vamp it up. First verse. Hene, hene. I love your smile and you're so much fun. Your laugh, your jokes. Hene, hene. Start your engines. Yeehaw. 
once more, Kawila. Kawila Makehe. Amiho. Onikoniko Kiha. Hebe Amakawiya. For you and I. Okay, let's go Kawila one more time. Kawila. Kawila Makehe. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Let's sing. when I don't have the lyrics. I'm so spoiled. I was trying to pick seaweed. Let's all sing. Last time. Haina. Haina mai kapua na. Kole ale a paha. Eme ama ama uia. No oe me ya u. No oe me ya u. No oe me ya u. Okay, well, I don't know about you guys, but whew, that was a workout for me. I don't know about you, but uh, we took a trip. It didn't feel like we were riding on a streetcar. It felt like we were running a marathon, but <laughs> thank you folks so much for being with us in the month of July to go on a little trip back in time to a time where things were simpler and uh, uh, where we could just go down to Waikiki and not have to worry. <laughs> But um, we're so happy that you have been with us this week and, of course, this month. Now, if th t today was your first hula and you think, oh, my gosh, that was fast, you can always go back and watch the replays. Um, our blog is updated with the replays of all of this month, um, and you can check that out at napuahala.com. 
Um, you can also check us out on YouTube, Instagram. There's lots of ways for you to be able to find our classes. I wanted to give a really quick overview of what we're going to be doing in the month of August. So here's our August schedule. Yikes. Um, we're going to be kind of transitioning back to in-person and online. Um, so we've been online for like 16 months. We're finally starting to bring some of our classes back. So our beginning keiki will be Fridays at 4, Saturdays at 10.30. That'll be in person here at the Halal. Our intermediate keiki will be on Fridays at 5 here at the Halal. Adults, we are accepting new students. Actually, for all of these classes, we are accepting new students on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. back to in person here at the Halal starting in August. Um, and we're going to be starting a brand new Hula Basics class on Mondays at 6 p.m. And that one is actually going to be down in Kaka'ako at High Climb um, Bouldering and Climbing Gym. So that's going to be um, coming up in August. We're going to do mostly hula basics there. So if you just want to get the, the basics and you're here on the island of Oahu and you would like to start with us, um, give us, give us a, a ring and we can help get you set up with that. Um, for our online watchers and, and uh, Haumana joining us from all around the world, we'll do our best to keep our online going as long as we can, but as you can see, we're getting a little busy. Um, we'll be back here next Saturday with our Facebook hula. We'll be back with brand new songs, um, 9 a.m. Hawaiian time. We'll also be opening a Zoom keiki class. We have some keiki that have been joining us over the past few months from California, Kaneohe, Kalihi, all over the place. So we will be having Zoom keiki classes on Thursdays at 4.30 p.m. Hawaiian time. Um, and very exciting. We have an adult Zoom workshop coming up on August 29th. We're going to offer for two time zones. There's a 9 a.m. slot and there's a 6 p.m. slot. Hopefully that will be able to catch those of you that are all around the world. Hopefully that'll be a good time for you folks. Um, my plan for August 29th is to cover a basic hula rep song that everyone should know. Um, and this one actually comes from my kumu hula, Le Momi I Maldonado. We're going to be covering Kaulu Vehi Oke Kai. Another song for seaweed. I guess I'm on a seaweed kick. What can I say? Um, but Kaulu Vehi Oke Kai will be our Zoom hula workshop song for August 29th. So I hope Hope that you will join us. Um, information for registration for that will be coming out in the next day or so. Okay, I know we're a little bit past time, but I wanted to make sure to mention that our halal will also be featured in the Nahula Festival coming up. The city and county of Honolulu puts together a Nahula Festival. They've been doing it for over 40 years, no, more than 40 years, six, since 1940. So that's actually 80 years plus. Um, this year it will be virtual and our halal will be one of the featured groups. They're gonna be putting out videos every Sunday in August, but they haven't been able to tell me which Sunday. So <laughs> check out the City and County of Honolulu's YouTube page to see our performance. Um, it will probably be towards the end of the month, maybe the third, second or third week of August. And I'll definitely repost it here to Facebook when it is available. Okay. Lots of information. I know we're a little bit past time, but I want to say mahalo to all of you for being a part of our Hula Ohana. Oh, you can leave those pictures up. Uh, so our Hula Ohana in person is these folks right here and all of you, I wish I had all of your photos that I could put up here, but we're so grateful to you for being a part of our Hula Ohana and coming and joining us every single week. Um, to all of you, thank you for being with us uh, and we'll see you next week. Okay? Ahui ho, aloha. <laughs>